Hi everyone, this is Dee. Um, I thank you for joining me today and welcome to anyone who's new to my channel. I am continuing reading from the transcripts, the PDF transcripts. Uh, this is for anyone who cares to listen in on what uh, was spoken by the Lord Jesus Christ, also known as Yahushua HaMashiach, a couple of years back. So I'm just going to bow my head and bow my heart as I always do before I start saying thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, very much, Lord, that I can come before you this day and I can complete um, this day with um, uh, a reading, a reading from, um, it was received on November of 2018 um, from your servant, Jeff Byerly, and I have um, written it down, prayed about it, I'm going forth with reading it for everyone in the body of Christ. Lord, let the words of my mouth and meditations of my heart be acceptable in your sight. Uh, Lord Jesus, Amen. Yahushua HaMashiach. It says, My children who are waiting and watching for me intently, I want to speak to you. My children who are waiting for me intently, I want to speak to you. All of you have been chosen for this time in which you live and even to, to read or listen to this very message that I give to you. You are the ones with spiritual eyes to see and ears to hear. Take heed to what my spirit says to you. The time of the fulfillment of all the end times prophecies given to my servants, the prophets, my holy sons and daughters, and shouted from the rooftops by my watchmen is here. Let no man or entity that is sent from the evil one confuse you. There are many false prophets that have been sent out. Did I not tell you that this would happen? Deception is at its highest level and ever increasing till the end. Did I not warn you that it would be so? Your physical and spiritual realms are getting darker by the day. Beloved, did I ever say that my people would rule this world before my return? No, I did not. Yet many of you listen to those who teach and preach such doctrines. I said, unless these days be cut short, that no flesh would survive. But for the sake of my elect, they will be cut short. It also says in my word that in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, for I have overcome the world, and you can overcome the world by the power of my Holy Spirit. Again, I said in my word that my kingdom is not of this world, and if it were, I would have my servants fight in this physical realm for it. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sound an alarm on my holy mountain. Let all who would hear, hear! Exclamation. Mount Zion is in the hearts of all who are born of my spirit, and it is the chief mountain of all I have created. The whore of Babylon sits upon seven mountains of this world, and she and all who follow her shall be cast down and utterly destroyed. I came in the flesh, but I am a spirit. Whoever would know me must be born again of the spirit." Whoever would know me must be born again of, of my spirit and cast away the carnal mind and the things of the flesh daily. Those who worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. I accept no offering that is not from the heart. This is why Abel's sacrifice was accepted and Cain's was rejected. I do not have a physical brain, yet my wisdom and knowledge surpasses everyone else's collectively. Those who come to me with their intellect of the human minds do not know me. They only know about me. Do not be arrogant or puffed up, thinking that you know something, because you don't know anything yet, as you ought to know. O oh, foolish, prideful man, how do you think that you, would, that you could figure out the most high God? You are bewitched, and only I can remove the spell that is cast upon you. Worldly knowledge does you no good. For did I not say that I use the seemingly foolish things of this world to confound those that think they are wise in this world? I say to you this day, humble yourself before me, repent, and I will forgive you. Do not delay. Your repentance for the days of grace are short. The day 
of the Lord is nearly at hand, and very soon my wrath shall be poured out. My bride, who I know intimately in the Spirit, are not appointed to my wrath, but will obtain salvation in the Spirit through my blood sacrifice. It is by grace through faith that you are saved, and not of yourselves, and not by works that any man can boast of her. Hear me now, O Pharisees, you look good on the outside, and men honor you, but I see your heart. Your heart is hard and cold towards me, and you always resist my spirit. You are whitewashed tombs of death, and I shall spit you out of my mouth unless you cast off your vain religion and repent before me. No man can please me without following the voice of my spirit by faith. Every act that man does outside the leading of my spirit is vanity and refuse. Cast these things aside now and come to me humbly on your knees and on your face. I will forgive you and show mercy and grace. Give me your heavy burden. My yoke is easy. My burden is light. It is out of my grace and mercy that the tribulation of the days that you are in must come. I must allow calamity and destruction. Look at the world around you. Understand nothing will stay as it is. The darkness is falling and it wants to surround you and overtake you by making you fear what you see coming. I've told you many evil things are coming. I tell you again. I love you more than ever. And no, I will desire. No, wait a minute. I love you more than you will ever know. And I desire that none of you would be cast into hell. For this reason, many church-going Christians will go through hell on earth in the great tribulation, but their spirits shall be saved from hell as they repent. Cry out to me. Those who have kept their robes and, and gowns clean, spotless, white, and wrinkle-free shall escape the great tribulation by walking and living in the spirit. You all still have that chance, through, though time is short. Repent. Come to me right now. I'm waiting with, oh, with my arms wide open. Any signs of Jesus Christ? Thank you so much for listening. Have a great blessed day, everybody.